<clears throat> okay, so basically uh, my hatch lift lift support, this gas powered lift support is not working anymore. And every time I open the, the gate, um, it'll be open and then it slowly closes. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to replace this. And it's super simple. Um, but first, you probably need to get some kind of support to prop up your lift gate. And I just used a, I think this was like a broom handle or a mop handle, you know, from one of those dollar mops or brooms that you get from the dollar store. And basically I just use it to prop the gate open. Um, and this is the part I'm gonna replace. This over here is the automatic, the automatic one. This is a little bit more pricier. I think when I priced it, it was like 150 bucks. But uh, I guess first what I'm gonna start with is this side here. I got this replacement part right here. This is the identical match. Uh, see if you can see the number on it. 6808319 6AC. You know, straight from the factory. It was only 15, 15, I think $15.11 or something like that. And it's a direct match. And you can see, if I get my camera to focus, uh anyway that's the exact match it's 15 bucks so i'm gonna see how easy it is this uh it is to replace this and hopefully that'll fix my problem um also i notice here that this is a clip that i can move with a flathead um i don't have anything to hold my camera but i'm just showing you that it's just a clip and those same clips are inside of here okay right there here's the clip here I'm gonna get a screwdriver and pop that loose and then I'm gonna come up here and get a screwdriver and pop that loose here um, and like I said you only need a flathead <laughs> the broom handle for support and the replacement part which is approximately 15 16 bucks so that's what I'm gonna do so here is where you pop this this part out right here and I'm gonna uh, set the camera down because I need two hands just in, just in case this daggone uh, broom handle doesn't support it so I'm gonna set it down let me pause it real quick so yeah so yeah just like I thought it was easy to pop out I just had to, to pop it one time after I loosened up the clip but here's the end here dangling here and um, as you can see I got to do the same thing on this side here and pop this part out with my flathead. And um, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna set the I'm gonna set it down again. It looks like my broom handle was able to, to to do what it needed to do. So basically I'm gonna set the phone down and I'm gonna get this last piece off and then I'll show you how to put the replacement part on. And uh once again, mind you, I'm only using this flathead screwdriver right here, and I'm just prying this up like that and I'm pulling it off so that was fairly simple right so uh, that was it now I'm gonna take this part which is the replacement and I'm gonna put it on the same exact way uh, yeah I'm gonna put actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this side on first uh, because of I'm not sure how I'm gonna pull it out, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna put this side on the car first here, and then I'm gonna attach this one and set the phone down. Okay, so that was super quick. Um, like I said, all I did was use the flathead screwdriver, pry up the clip, slide it onto the piece here. See, I'm not sure if you can see it here. Uh, it's in there, see it's seated. It's secure um, yeah and now I'm just gonna attach this part on right here the exact same way now as you can see I have the screwdriver just pried in here a little bit and I got it open and if you look from this side you can see that it's in there and all I'm gonna do is secure it here 
and voila there it is this is secure this side is secure I don't know that feels like it's loose but it's on there all the way the clip is in it's secured on there and all I got to do is take off the tape here you know I'm not sure what this tape on here was for but as you can see now my lift gate is uh, actually it's not supported by anything and I'm gonna try it out um, let's see check that out here yeah all that tape I should have took the tape off first before I tried to put this on here like that but oh well uh, now let's see let's see I got my keys here and and so here's the key press it once I pressed it twice and the gate is closing. And it's secured. Now let me press the button again. And there it goes, it's opening. That's the hinge I replaced. And it's absolutely working fine. So <laughs> That's all I wanted to do here. And uh, if I didn't say it before, this is a 2011 Dodge Durango Citadel. And um, yeah. And I just changed the gas power, the gas, uh, what, lift gate support on the right side. So it was a $15 repair, $16 repair, right? So uh, thanks for hanging out. I hope this helps. and. Talk at you soon.